Good morning. It's Monday, August the 10th, and this is The Drill. Thank you very much. Welcome to all the butchers, bakers, and candlestick makers out there. I'm Ron, your host, and the only true conservative in the United States today. Who is the false conservative? He's the man that thinks that the way uh, to think is the way the left wants him to. He thinks that he's conservative because of his position on the issues. He's traditionalistic and reactionary. He is dogmatic and therefore makes the same mistakes over and over again. He pretends that politics shapes culture. He apes the left. He takes psychological, conversational, and social cues from the left. He is movement-oriented and thinks that to defeat the left, you must think and act like the left. The false conservative has just as much desire to reform the U.S. as the left. The faux conservative thinks that the socialist problem is solely political and top-down, that one merely needs to elect enough conservatives, and presto, the problem will automatically be solved. Examples of false conservatives are George W. Bush and the Lincoln Project. uh, This podcast is not about convincing your politician to do a better job, but to aid you in shaping American culture. The efforts to defeat socialism must recognize that culture informs politics and act accordingly. My podcast is short, approximately five to ten minutes long, because shorter podcasts are easier to download and listen to. The biggest socio-political influences in my life are my parents, my teachers, Ayn Rand, and Dr. Mortimer Adler. My podcast is made available through Spreaker and can be heard on iTunes, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. Today, where do we stand? What can a true conservative do? Quote of the day, good news, and how to think about chaos in America. All that when I come back. Thank you very much. Uh, Where do we stand? Jill Biden continues to be the most evil woman in America for allowing her husband's campaign to continue. The campaign is designed to mock the president, the election process, and the American people and make a fool out of her husband in the process. The communist flu continues to rage with no vaccine yet on the horizon. Businesses and schools continue to be locked down and the rioting continues. No police union has been decertified, and no laws shielding officers from prosecution have been repealed. The Senate has gone on August recess without passing a relief bill, and the President has signed four executive orders to provide unemployment extension and eviction relief. When I come back, what can a true conservative do? What can a true conservative do? Remember that despite efforts to the contrary, this is still a democratic republic and that the majority still rules. Minority rights, but majority rules. The majority does not want to defund law law enforcement, does not want to destroy monuments to national heroes and historical figures, does not support Marxism or any of its tenets or practitioners, and does not seek to take advantage of the pain and suffering of the many to profit the few. Next up, quote of the day. Thank you. The quote of the day comes from dailyscripture.net. Lord Jesus, your death brought true life and freedom. May I always walk in the freedom and power of your love and truth and reject whatever is contrary to your will for my life. Amen. No other so-called conservatives even mention Jesus Christ, much less say a prayer. Yet every one of them claims to be a Christian. Coming up, good news.
Thank you, thank you. The good news is that the universe is still benevolent, despite what one may see, hear, or read. That reality still exists, and that reality and that the reality is that ideas matter, and because ideas matter, knowledge matters, one's mind matters, and the truth matters. And because all of these things matter, no one will be able to believe in the power of or the triumph of evil. No matter what corruption one observes in one's immediate surroundings, one is unable to accept it as normal, permanent, or metaphysically right. One knows that injustice, terror, falsehood, frustration, pain, and agony are the exceptions in life, not the rule. One knows with certainty that somewhere on earth, even if not anywhere in one's surroundings or within one's reach, a proper human way of life is the rule and that justice matters. Up next, how to think about what is going on in the United States today. Thank you. Life in the United States today seems chaotic. The economy, the economic shutdown, riots in Portland, Seattle, and elsewhere. All of these efforts can be summed up in one phrase. Minority rule. In a democracy, the majority rules. Minority rights, but majority rules. Everywhere you look today, you see efforts to make the minority rule. The cowing of major corporations such as Chick-fil-A, the NBA, MLB, and the NFL by the Black Lives Matter organization. The blatant attempts at intimidation by anarchists. Intimidation of the federal government, the intimidation of businesses, schools, and universities, and the intimidation of the, univer of the individual himself. It will not work. It has not worked in the past. It failed to support slavery and Jim Crow. It failed to create a thousand-year Reich or socialist paradise, and it will not work in the future. The United States is integrated, whether the life left likes it or not. The country is becoming more and more integrated and less and less diverse every day because that is the way the majority wants it and the majority rules. Back in a minute. Who is the true conservative? He is the person that has the courage of his convictions and is confident in what he knows. He's the person that understands that cultural conservatism is more important than political conservatism. He's not selfish, but minds his own business. He acts like an adult. He's patriotic and uses common sense. He expresses what he knows and does so with certainty. He makes judgments, refuses to speculate, speaks clearly and definitively, and is not afraid to say no. He's open-minded asking why, rather than why not. He's consistent, credible, and influential. Not ashamed of his existence, unafraid to learn or correct his mistakes. He is a normal American, and he's better than the socialist. He's a better friend, father, brother, family member, and a better person, period. You have to know that. If you do not know with every fiber of your being that being a true conservative is best, then you are wasting your time. And that concludes another episode of The Drill. Be honest, be smart, be beautiful, and always ask yourself, what is real, how do I know, and what should I do about it? I'm Ron, and that's The Drill. The Drill.